Your decision making is bad because you're trying to make too many fucking decisions. That's your problem, right? You're in the neutral and like, is he going to go high? Is he going to go low, low? Is he going to do this? Is he going to do that? And like, you're getting fucked up and you're getting tongue tied with your brain. You're getting brain tied and you're doing dumb shit. And a lot of you guys have like godlike execution, right? We just did a match with the Sindel who's doing like the fucking air combo shit. And it's like, damn, you have such good into execution. Like you would actually be a force to reckon with in this game if you weren't a fucking idiot, right? Or any fighting game. You need to mellow out your decision making. You need to move and press with a purpose. Before you do anything, you should already know what you're going to do. I mean, it sounds stupid. It sounds simple. Before I do something, I should know what I want to do, right? So already start there. Don't do anything unless you know exactly what you want to do and you know exactly what the outcome is, right? That's what a read is. I read that this will happen and then I did a thing to stop it and it worked. I read it, right? So you need to stop your decision making. You need to create your mental stack. Your mental stack is this. I want to do this, right? This is what I want to do. I want to do this, right? Let's do that. Boom. That's what I want to do. I want to do that. Okay? And then you build your mental stack from there of like, I want to do that. How do I do that? Well, like, I execute the combo, obviously, right? Okay, sounds simple enough. Just do the combo. Okay, but what if I'm way the fuck over here? Right? The fucking combo whiffs. That's what I'm saying by your mental stack. Have a goal. One goal. That's it. I just want to do this thing. This is my best thing that my character does, okay? If I'm RoboCop, I want to be over there and I want to shoot a low shot. That's it. One choice. One thing. One thing. That's it. Pick one thing and then do that. And then everything else has to be in complements to that one thing. In the neutral, everything you do, if I do something, is it going to get me closer to doing that one thing, right? Start there. That's your mental stack. I want to do this one thing, but I'm far away. How do I get there? Walk forward, jump forward, whatever your decision is, right? Oh, but they put out a button to stop me walking forward. So I have to deal with that button before I can walk forward to go back and do my combo. So I'm going to deal with their button. Right, I deal with their button, now I can walk forward, now I can combo. That's how you break down neutral, all right? That's how your decision making is. And all you have to do when you don't know what their one thing they're gonna do to stop you is, you just wait a second, you just fucking wait. And then they will do it and you'll be like, oh, I wanna walk forward because I wanna do my combo. So I walk forward to do the combo, but he sticks out a down four. Well, how do I beat a down four? Then you get into the minutia of matches. But really, if you just stop, don't do anything. Wait a second. A, a very split second. It doesn't take that long. Now, I don't even want to say a second. Wait like four or five frames of animation. Make a decision, right? And then just go with that. And then don't do anything until you have decided. And all your decision making has to go back to that original goal. I want to hit my combo. Everything I do has to lead to that combo, right? If I'm not doing something that leads me closer to that combo, then I'm getting outplayed in the neutral because they're going to do their thing that leads to their combo. So you stop and you say, goal, how do I achieve that goal? What are my obstacles? How do I overcome those obstacles to go back around to the goal? They call this the Yomi layer in fighting games, right? Yomi layers. Google it. Go read a book called Playing to Win by Dave Serlin. He's kind of a clown in the community and people hate him. But you can't argue that the dude isn't right when he wrote that book, right? Make your lo Yomi layers. Start with your decision-making like tree and then build from there and do it slowly. This is why the game is really like kind of slowed down is because a lot of you guys can't make these split second decisions really really quickly and like me when i'm playing i'm just casually just sitting there chilling saying yeah he's gonna fucking do this dumb shit i really want to hit my combo but he's gonna do this dumb shit so i'm gonna stop the dumb shit and then like hopefully he doesn't block and i can hit my combo and i've made one decision in the neutral you guys are like juggling 10 things in the neutral and it's like really the neutral is again it's just rock paper scissors it's three choices is he gonna walk forward and do something to hit me or just walk forward right i don't even think about the do something to hit me i just say is he gonna walk forward what do i do to stop that right is he gonna walk backwards what do i do to stop that is he gonna jump 
What do I do to stop that? Those are the only decisions I'm making in the neutral. That's it. When I make a read and when I catch those like weird ass whiff punishes and hit you with like fucking shadow kicks while you're back dashing, you're like, what the fuck? He just blew up Unga Bunga, a maneuver that's unsafe. And it's like, no, it's not unsafe. I made the read that you're going to walk backwards. And this was my move to stop you. And then it worked. So it wasn't Unga Bunga. I made the decision. Right. I used my decision making tree to figure out what the fuck I wanted to do. And then I waited until you did the thing I was looking for. And then I did it. So when you're playing the neutral, you make a decision. You make a a decision on what you want to do. Then you make a read on what your opponent is going to do. Is he going to walk forwards, backwards or jump? And then you have a response to that. And your response to that should lead right back to your initial thing. Right. I want to do my combo. What is my opponent going to do? He's going to walk forward. That means I could just do my combo and he's going to hit him and he's going to walk into it, right? I want to do my combo, but he's going to jump. And my combo isn't going to work if he jumps. So I'm going to anti-air him first. And then when he gets knocked down, I'm going to bait his up three, right? Because he's going to get knocked down because he's an idiot who's always pressing buttons. I'm going to bait his up three. He's going to whiff his up three. And then I do my combo. And then we're right back to neutral. Unless my combo leads to a resand or a, some sort of setup or something. But I, uh, you see how my decision making, right? My decision making tree forked out like that. All I did was make one decision. I want to do my combo. And then I looked at the obstacles in front of me, stopping me from that combo. I came up with a counter strategy for each one of those obstacles. And it all led me back to my combo. And then now my brain, right, because you guys don't take into consideration mental exhaustion and mental fatigue, but I've been in 14-hour tournaments, okay? I've been in tur- I've been in tournaments. I went to Evolution. That's a three-day tournament. Your mind will get exhausted, right? And the key at high-level play is to not get exhausted, not drain your brain energy. That's why fucking gamers are always drinking fucking energy drinks because it has shit to help focus, right? That's why all the fucking, that's why it's a big controversy in, uh, in professional gaming, people doing Adderall, right? Because it, it helps your brain focus. It helps your brain energy. You want to think of your brain as a muscle. It's the same thing as your arm. If I work my arm too much, like I could pull a muscle and hurt myself and now I can't lift anymore, right? I can't do my bicep curls because I hurt my bicep. Your brain is the same way. If you're making your brain work overtime and you're thinking of too much shit and you're cluttering your mind, you will never stumble upon the real solution to the problem that you have. You need to slow it down. You need to come up with a very, very simple idea. And then all you do is you break it down. I want to do this. These are my obstacles. You remove those obstacles. Now I can do this. Now we reset to neutral. Now I want to do it again, right? And you just do that. Okay, this guy likes to block. I want to grab, right? I want to grab to break his defense because all he's doing is blocking like a bitch. All he does is run and block. But how do I grab? Every time I try to grab him, he throws out a projectile. Well, what counters a projectile? right? Jump over the projectile. Now I can grab him. So you see, we start with a very simple goal. I want to grab him. And then you come up with contingency plans for your obstacles. And then you go back to your goal. And that's the decision-making process you should be making in the neutral. Have a goal, right? This is why people at the start, round one, fight, and they back up because they're like, I don't know what I want to do yet. I kind of know, like I'm Sindel, so I kind of want to do that. But I don't know yet. I don't know what you're going to do. You might do some weird shit, and I'm not a fan of weird shit, right? So at the start of the round, I'm going to back up. I'm going to chill. Now, you guys know that me, I'm more of an aggressive player. So at the start of the match, round one fight, fuck you, right? Fuck you. That's just my play style. Maybe you're different, right? But the idea is the same. It doesn't matter what you choose, right? It doesn't matter if you're a zoner or a rushdown or neutral. It doesn't matter what play style you have. You start with a goal. You go from there. Neutral instantly becomes so much easier to navigate right because you're taking all this weird shit there's a lot of things the game throws a lot of shit this is your health this is your time here is your meter this guy is sub-zero this is sub-zero's command list you can do this but you're sindel but you want to do this but you, you're just what the fuck do i do oh fucking no there's fucking 50 characters in this game and stages matter because i can grab bones from the what the fuck right get a simple simple decision All you do is start with one decision and branch off from there. And then all neutral becomes is a rock, paper, scissors. I'm going to pick one of three options and then I'm going to go from there. And you'll find that you will become less tired when you play. You will become less confused when you play. You will be more confident because you're not trying to navigate 10 decisions and 10 different options. You are navigating one decision and you were either right or you were wrong, right? 
So you end up being more calm, more relaxed as you play. Let me let me pull up something. Let me pull up something. Hold on one sec. I'm going to show you guys something really fucking cool. But let me make sure I do this right so I don't get in trouble. Okay? I want to make sure that I don't get in trouble when I do this. But this is something. This is something that I found to be really cool. Right? Really, really fucking cool. All right. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to switch over. Okay. I'm going to show you guys some DMs. A buddy of mine I was talking to, and I'm making sure that I don't show any of the stuff that he doesn't want me to show. But specifically, right, if you look, this guy, okay, Super Arcade. Let me tell you something about this guy named Super Arcade, okay? Super Arcade is a player named Mike Watson. He's a national champion. Uh, he used to run Wednesday Night Fights. He owned... Obviously, Super Arcade, legendary player. This guy, okay? This is why your decision-making is so important. Far, far, far more important. This guy is a national champion. He's represented the Americas, uh, North America, um, in the World Finals, uh, what is it, Super Battle Opera in Japan. Like, this guy is a legend in fighting games. And if you look at what he says in this DM, right? I swear to you, I never once sat down in training mode. This is a national champion, world-class, top eight esports pro player. I have never sat down in training mode. I always, I was always the type to learn through the process. You can't match, what is it? You can't match doing something in a real match to practice against a computer dummy, okay? Literally literally a national champion admits and he's he doesn't hide this this is not hidden shit this is public knowledge he admits he never goes to practice mode he's never spent a single day in practice mode and this guy's a national champion and then we have guys like holy dragon who does all these intricate cool fucking combos and yet he can't beat me spamming forward four and grab do you see why slowing down your neutral right and the only way to get good at neutral is to play it a lot. You can't really practice neutral because even if you program the computer to walk forwards and backwards, it's still predictable. So you can just come up with counter situations. You will never understand neutral or fundamentals unless you just play a bunch of people. And you get a feel for different personalities and stuff. But you understand that like, if you sit there and practice neutral and you practice the fundamentals and you slow down your decision making, you too could literally be a world champion and never set foot in practice mode. And... My boy Mike Watson literally is that. He's living proof that you don't have to actually like practice any of that shit. Like you just go in and get a feel and do it. And that's that's the core of neutral. That's like the basics. Is make it as basic as possible and then just do your thing. Just do the thing. Just push buttons. Lol. I put right the meme of like lol, I push buttons and it's a scrub, and then you have the intermediate player. I know the frame data and the combos. And it's like intermediate player, and then the advanced player is like a Jedi. And he says, Lol, I push buttons. That's where you want to be. You want to loop it around. You start with just push buttons, then you get some tech, and then you just go back to pushing buttons. That's fighting games. <laughs>